How's it going everyone? I'm doing a shifter box install on a 2018 a Civic Type R and uh, this is going to help reduce uh, the throw and take away some of the sloppiness. So, you see, it's not bad actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start installing it. Got to remove center console, all this stuff. And then we'll compare it to uh, how this one was. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have center console all pulled out. I just pulled the back. I have to take out a lot of stuff. This, this is the lower part of the center console. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff you got to take out. So you could take it out of the car completely if you'd like. But I think I have enough space here to work now. Just start removing this. These cables are kind of tricky. Gotta twist them around and so you can unlock them. And then we're gonna compare the throws. Got four bolts holding this in. Four bolts and then a, two cable pins. See right here. And then you unscrew the cables and you remove it. All right guys, so I got the shifter in. Actually comes with uh, two adjustments for uh, the throw so you can see there's a number one and number two there and that's where you uh, you would change the throw uh, this customer opted to uh, have the longer throw they didn't want to go too short also if you take out these four allen screws here you could um uh, change the spring for either a, 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 a softer shift or a you know, stiffer shift and you can also loosen this one for height. Change the height of your uh, your shift knob right here. And there's one on this side. You could actually rotate this in any direction you want. So it's pretty nice. Definitely uh, probably one of the best mods out there you could do, in my opinion. And uh, it gives you plenty of adjustability. It's a shame that the, the, it's actually gotta be hidden underneath all the covers and the console and all that. But it is what it is, so I'm gonna finish putting it back together, then we're gonna see how much, uh, how much shorter it got. All right, everyone, so the hybrid short shifter is installed. It's completed, feels great. The uh, the throws are definitely noticeably shorter. And this is um, not all the way, it could go even shorter throw than this. And we also opted for the softer spring instead of the stiffer spring it, count it comes with. Um, one thing I did notice over here when we took this out, and this is a Honda piece, you can see the threads are kind of boogered up on the OEM shifter. So something somewhere along the line, I don't know if this was threaded too far down or whatnot, but these threads got messed up. So, um, and this kind of uh, locks the, the shift knob so you align it properly and it doesn't rotate and also holds up the boot so it doesn't look silly like this so we're gonna order a new one this thing alone is 50 bucks i don't know why but it is 50 bucks so yeah i think uh, overall the shift is pretty pretty nice you know um i think it's definitely a, a good um good investment and uh, i don't think anybody will really be upset only thing um you know i uh i guess my only beef is you know hiding that nice part you know it's it is a nice part and it looks real nice and it's just a shame that unfortunately it has to go you know it's hidden you can't really tell uh otherwise you know besides the, the shifting so all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and uh don't forget to subscribe